Hey, how's it going? Chef B Live here in my kitchen, and I'm doing an amazing recipe today. I'm actually here with my homie John Sally. How you doing, brother? What's going on? I'm loving life. It's yes, you always do. So, so grateful for you to be here. Yes, and uh, this is special for me. It is. I'm actually customizing, completely creating this recipe right here on camera. Never been created before for you. So, if what it is? tastes Whack! Please, it's tell going everyone. to be right there. You're going to see it. I'll, is, I'll put it on. I promise, I'll post this no matter what. This is reality television, straight up. And I wanted it like that way because I want to prove that this cat is the butt, is the butter, <laughs> Earth balance, and uh, <laughs> not butter fat. All right, so go ahead. What do we got? Coconut butter. Now I'm not going to steal this, but well, yeah. it is. It is custom for me. So if you see it in Take, my cookbook, come on, yo. So I'm saying. Well, I'm gonna have to actually okay. formulate this so you have the measurements so you can put it in your cookbook. Right. And this would be like the B Life special in the John Sally vegan cookbook. Got it. Sounds good to me. Raw vegan. Cool. So like, I'll just get started then. Go ahead. Ready? What do we got? Cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just taking. This is young jackfruit. It's like green jackfruit. You can get it frozen. You. This is. You could also get it fresh as well. Um, it's harder to find fresh. You want really green. Like hard jackfruits. Jackfruit. And yeah, you take the, the the green part of the fruit out of it. So this is about probably three or four cups. Like I said, we'll measure it out so you have it for your fr friends and fans. So so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna process this. I'm gonna turn it on, I'm gonna pulse it a few times. It's gonna make like a shredded, kind of like a shredded chicken or a shredded beef. Which we wouldn't do because we love chicken should be alive and no beef should be dead for human consumption. No, just really, thought I mentioned There's it. no point, you know? Yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and do So this is now. human food. Absolutely. Plant, all plant-based. Do you know that jackfruit actually is the base of juicy fruit? The, the Get out of town. Straight up. My mother used to make me. It doesn't make your breath. It makes your breath kind of not as good as totally. uh, things that don't have aspartame in it, like pure gum, yeah. which is a vegan. Totally, totally. Yeah. This is a little quieter than the blender. But what I'm doing is I'm pulsing so I'm not so I don't process it too much. Right. So it's actually making it like a shredded meat. Like it really mocks it very well. Right. And so you want it to look like like shredded beef, like, like shredded shredded chicken kinda, you know? Right. And yes, we don't want So for those people that need that texture. Yeah, it's all about well, you know, I like to mock the, the cooked recipes, you know, texture wise, flavor wise. See the best thing you said is we don't waste food. Especially when you eat this lifestyle, because you realize you don't want to be wasteful. You want to be sustainable, you want to be um, thoughtful, conscious. And if you pay for it, don't throw it away. Absolutely. Why waste it? Right. So like now, marriage. Exactly. You pay for it, you might as well keep it. Totally, totally. <laughs> so now I'm going to put sun dried tomatoes. These have been soaked for a while. This is going to be. What are they soaking? They've been soaked in like an alkaline water. You can, I always suggest to use good water, spring water, or something. Do not use tap water. Please. Tap water that hasn't been alkaline through a nice machine. Absolutely. So now I just put a little agave in. And you can also use coconut syrup. You know, um, another thing is birch sugar, which is two to oh one yeah, sugar. That's it's better for you. Good from stuff. A tree. Yeah, I'm very low glycemic. Yeah. So I put some tomatoes in now. I was just testing you. <laughs> I'm always down for a challenge. I know, I know. I'm always trying to catch you, is why I want to be on this. And I love be when I'm off because I get to learn something, right? <laughs> You're Come on. So now I'm gonna put some red bell pepper. About how much is that? I don't know, that's about a, I would say about half a cup. Half a cup? Yeah. And now I, you know I'm gonna put a little bit of, this is um this is a little mix that I made. It's like a Ancho, chipotle, and like a ginger powders. Really? Different powders. You little blend. I love the flavor B Live puts in his food too. That's another thing. Yeah. A lot of times when you get to a raw foodist, you taste the, the, the soil and the bad part of the green. Totally. You don't do that. No, we're not we're not doing this. No. No, we're making it we're making it real. Right. You, know, you, gotta have, you gotta have some flavor. Flavorful. It's important, especially for the masses. Everyone wants. To, we're kind of conditioned and kind of like societies. We've been like fed like really high flavorful foods. So that's what I what I love myself. So it's what I want to provide as at least a doorway to people for health. Mm -hmm. You know. So now I'm gonna use some smoked paprika. I'm gonna roll through these quickly so we can. Who smoked that paprika? <laughs> Now this is obviously <laughs> smoked paprika and chipotle like aren't actual raw ingredients, but they're such small amounts 
so you can, as you can see, so most herbs and, and dried spices right. aren't like raw, but they're very low percentage when, when the actual recipes. I'm gonna put this is the ginger, hence what it is actually Hawaiian barbecue ginger sauce. And the fact that they're not processed, they're not raw, but they're important because they were dried organic seasoning. Yes, yes, right. so absolutely. It's the same way, but you have to dry it so it doesn't. If you're cooking it, you don't want to destroy it while you're cooking it. Exactly. Right. So now I'm gonna put some dried, I'll that from you. dried minced onions. <laughs> now I'm gonna put some fresh garlic, some black ground pepper. Well, I gotta be black. All right. You know, you know, I like to use both <laughs> the white and the black. I, I do not like judge. <laughs> See, so now, I'm gonna, now this salt special because this actually kind of this week has like a Hawaiian theme. I had a friend come in and do some dolphin frequencies. Eros with brought some really rocking clothes that he, he designs and then I had another friend bring a bunch of stuff from Hawaii This being one of them. It's a whole it's salt, salt that she collected. Right. So this is bomb. I this is a bomb. I mean seriously So that's why I, I, I kind of did the Hawaiian spin on the Actual recipe today. About how much is that? Oh, shoot. Well right there. I would say it's probably about a teaspoon and a half mm -hmm. Like I said, we'll have this all measured out for your for all your fans and friends and so now we're just going to, of course, food process it. I want it nice and thick. Now the sun-dried tomatoes, they'll, they'll help keep it thick mm -hmm. and like really give it that barbecue consistency. You can also use a blender for this as well. So what's the name of that book that you have? Our new book is called Going, Going, Gone Raw. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll look at this book and, and revise some of your recipes for my own book. Sounds good to me, man. Hmm. I like to influence people, so. Hmm. <laughs> this looks like all the photos I took of my food. Maybe he'll credit me. <laughs> <laughs> so, I just want to taste it. You gotta get the right flavor for my brother. I am so happy you didn't stick your finger in the tasting, because then I wouldn't have tasted it all. I, uh, I don't roll like that. Just go ahead and start creating a boat for you right now. Yeah, we're putting it in a romaine boat. We'll do three. Don't worry, we'll make more for you a little later. I'm just going to pour, put the jackfruit in here. Because mm -hmm. it looks like we actually have more jackfruit than we want as far as the sauce goes. So I'm just going to mix them up. Because we want it to, of Let's course, see. be like barbecue. We want it to mock the whole you Know what else you realize? Meat. You, you didn't make any dishes. So that's another reason for being with this raw food. He's very very crafty on making sure he didn't make a whole lot of dishes for your kids to clean. Yeah, I mean, you can do it, it's, it's so simple. I mean, it really can just be so simple. How did you know to use jackfruit? You know, I learned about jackfruit through a friend of mine, Mama Z, and another friend of mine, Chef Rashi. So that's what we got? That's what we got. Yeah, yeah, here, hold on, hold on. No, we're not done. 30 seconds. We got 30 seconds? 30 seconds. Well, then we're gonna put some pineapple in here. Uh-huh. 29, 28. Oh, you under pressure, brother. So you can make and see the deal is we. I just want to see if he can make it in nine minutes. He is now at nine minutes. Eat it in ten seconds. Eat it. And this is the taste. And we're going past ten minutes. Sorry, folks. Well, on team. Chef, be live. John, out.